Hey guys, MCU Clutch here with a new video. And this one in between the Marvel Legends, the uh, <coughs> House of X uh, wave. Um, I wanted to do this quick video because these are unannounced figures. We didn't know these were coming. Wave 1 literally had just hit my targets, my local targets on Saturday. And lo and behold, the very next day, Wave 2 hit the other stores that didn't get Wave 1. So it's just all crazy. So <coughs> um, here in this video, I am going to go over all of the different figures from Wave 1, Wave 2, and the Hasbro Pulse exclusive um, sets, as I have them in the box there, and I'm dropping figures everywhere. So I am going to kind of just show you guys these. I am not going to be opening these figures because retro card and figures, I don't open with the Legend 6 inch ones. I end up getting two and I open one set to review for you guys and then I keep another set on my wall. With these ones, I will not be opening them, but I will go over them quickly. So first, let's start off with Wave 1 and we'll check out Wave 2 and then we'll circle back to the Hasbro Pulse exclusives and we'll show you the comparisons between those ones and the reissues in between Waves 1 and 2. So here we go. Okay, so the Hasbro Marvel Legends retro three and three quarter inch figures. So these ones are Kenner inspired. Now, that's kind of tricky because Kenner never actually made any Marvel figures. So these are in a way kind of like the Secret Wars figures that were made by Mattel. They obviously cannot use the Mattel logo, uh, but they can use the Kenner logo because Hasbro bought um, bought Kenner. So they just kind of went with it because, you know, you have the Star Wars um, vintage collection and those retro figures that are inspired by Kenner as well as the, like the 40th anniversary six inch figures. So they just kind of did this here. Well, let's just go with it. It's, it's cool. It's fun. It's whatever. It's not accurate. But, you know, it's cool nonetheless. But here we have Carol Danvers. Why she is labeled as Carol Danvers and not Ms. Marvel, who knows? I who, I mean, yes, there's Ms. Marvel coming out, the Kamala Khan Disney Plus series. Maybe they don't want to confuse it with what's going on. But everyone knows the truth. This is Ms. Marvel. She doesn't just go by Carol Danvers. But it is what it is. Now, all of these ones, I got lucky enough that because they have not done the reset yet at Target, that they were all still in the back. So if you use the DPCI 0... 87165826 they will likely have them in the back if the store has received them of course and then if that is the case then you probably will get lucky and you will get them unpunched so the peg um is the the little piece of cardboard is still in there so carol danvers looks pretty good here looking at the back the artwork um with these are really awesome that's what i like the bio for Car carol danvers reads soaring through the skies carol danvers flies up they spelled Carol with an E on the bio. That's weird. Carol Danvers flies with superhuman strength and speed in the fight to save the world. She's the hero we need. So looking at it, looks pretty good. Paint apps aren't, um, aren't bad on this, surprisingly, especially with the yellow over the black. So that's kind of nice. Looking at it there, five... Um, points of articulation. I think it's five. I don't know if there's an actual calf swivel in there or not. I think I saw like the review that Toy Shiz did on the Hasbro Pulse exclusives and he said that like, those cuts aren't actually functioning. So it should be just five POA, right? Arm, arm, head, leg, leg. So five, but looks okay. Next up is Captain America. This is a reissue from the Hasbro Pulse exclusives. So looking at the back, the bio reads, Captain America is a heroic force for, uh, for all time, fighting to keep freedom and liberty safe from evil crime. So looking at the figure, it looks pretty good. Um, pretty basic, you know, five points of articulation, but we do get a nice little accessory here. We get the Captain America shield. Um, nice little fun design. Spider-Man, he has no accessories. He has two thwip hands. The amazing Spider-Man artwork looks really cool. Looking at the back, his bio reads, high above the ground, swinging through the street, Spider-Man stops criminals that seem impossible to beat. Damn, they even dropped the rhyme in there. Look at that. So looking at Spider-Man, he looks pretty good. He has kind of that uh, first appearance spider logo going on there, so that is really cool. But it is a bright blue as opposed to a dark blue, so there's some kind of weird things going on there. But it looks pretty good. The nice thing is the web lines all look pretty clean, so I have no complaints with the web lines going on in there. So this is fun. This really reminds me of like an old school McDonald's Happy Meals toy. 
And 10 bucks, I know a lot of people are complaining at the $10 price point, and yes, there's no articulation, that type of thing, but I, I don't think 10 bucks is too bad. That's kind of the going rate for stuff like this. When you look at like Super 7 reaction figures, aren't those things like 18 bucks for the same points of articulation? I think the paint and, and sculpt and stuff um, are better for sure, but damn, 18 bucks is almost twice the price of these guys, so Spider-Man. Human Torch, this is probably one of the highlight figures of this first wave because um, it's just kind of cool. It's super retro and old school looking of the Human Torch um, from the Fantastic Four. The artwork, I think, just looks really, really nice. I really like the way it looks. You got the Fantastic Four logo in there like he flew and did it. So that is really cool. The bio for Human Torch reads, Day or night, the Fantastic Human Torch lights up the sky. In the battle against evil for, just, for justice, he will fly. Are these all rhyming now? Or is it just me? I don't remember Captain America and Ms. Marvel rhyming, but Spider-Man and Human Torch did. So that's kind of cool. Uh, looking at the Human Torch, we get a nice orange translucent plastic there with some nice fire effect pieces on his legs and his arms and his hair. So that is not his hair, but his head. That looks pretty cool. I like the little lines in there. Just really like the old classic um, comic style, the art style of him. So that is really cool. I like that. Okay, the Incredible Hulk. So artwork looks really nice there. Uh, it's funny because the figure has kind of a mullet going on, but the artwork doesn't really showcase that mullet. Um, but anyway, his bio reads, Dr. Bruce Banner, struck by gamma rays, turns into the Hulk, an enormous hero with a massive green bulk. So I guess they are all rhyming, so that's kind of cool. So zooming in on Hulk, look at that. Party, um, business in the front, party in the back with that mullet. You can't can't unsee the damn mullet someone pointed that out on instagram and now that's that is all i see nice bright purple pants almost look like a pink color but that looks pretty cool so that's a nice unique sculpt so far because he is much larger than all of the other ones so looking at like a real quick side by side comparison just how bulky hulk is compared to like magneto that is a big size difference Okay, and to finish off wave one, we have Magneto. Magneto, this is my favorite card. I love the color scheme of it. It just really pops and stands out and looks awesome. So, Magneto, let's check out his bio. In it says, a powerful mutant villain who controls magnetic fields. Magneto clashes with the X-Men to make them yield. Dropping bars. I wonder if Dan Yoon had some involvement with that. So there is Magneto. Let's zoom in, take a look at the figure. That looks pretty cool. Helmet looks nice. I like how they actually added the little detail right in the front. The purple over the red looks pretty good. No paint sloppiness or anything like that. White for his eyes looks good. We get some little, little bit of line work in the torso there. Cape looks good. Nice little figure, and you know they're not they're not like super articulated or super detailed or anything like that. But you know what? They actually have a pretty nice, unique design to them. So Magneto finishes off Wave One. Let's check out those unannounced Wave Two. Okay, so here is Electra starting off Wave Two. Now these ones just again completely out of the blue. Had no idea. Cal Tony um, on Instagram sent me um, a picture. He tagged me in his stories and he showed that he got them. So I'm like, oh, awesome, man. You got the retro ones. Then I was like, wait a second. I had to do a double take. I'm like, wait a second. Wait, wait, hold up, hold up. Those are not the same as the ones that I got. So what the hell is going on? So then lo and behold, my buddy spawned XD. He was in my town, went to my target, and he found them like, oh, hell no. So then I went to the other target in town and luckily they had had him there but Electra looking really cool this artwork I really like you see Daredevil the man without fear um, Electra looks pretty cool but let's check out the bio let's see if they continued on with the rhyming it says trained as a ninja by the hand Electra Nachios became the deadliest assassins in high demand boom they're sticking with the rhymes so that is pretty cool let's zoom in and take a look at Electra um, the face uh, it <laughs> I think it actually looks pretty good. Um, not a whole lot to it. Fairly generic looking, um, but it you know it works. <laughs> it works. I'm um, looking at the paint. The paint does look a little fuzzy, kind of around the lines, but and, you know nothing too bad. And it's not like I'm going to be opening them up anyway. She comes with two sides, and those look huge compared to the figure. Um, but that's pretty cool. I like it. I like the character selection that they're really giving us. They're kind of going all over the place uh, with these characters. So I really like that Hasbro is doing that. So this is cool. How long this line will continue, we don't know. We, again, we know that Target has the exclusive early release, but these things will be available everywhere eventually at some point, probably fairly soon in the coming months. 
And of course, to go along with Elektra, we have Daredevil, the man without fear. And I really like the artwork. We got those uh, those um, effect like, like art, the circles going around because, you know, he can sense and hear everything. So that's pretty cool since, you know, he can't see. Uh, but Daredevil's bio reads, Matt Murdock, the man without fear, uses his radar sense to serve as Daredevil, Hell's Kitchen's last line of defense. Okay, so it rhymes, but it doesn't really flow too well. The radar sense and last line of defense. Yeah, I guess we'll take it. And just kind of got long-winded there. Um, Daredevil might be my favorite looking one. Again, pretty basic, not a whole lot going on to it, but the, uh, the nice bright red with the darker red for the DD logo, as well as his, his gloves and boots are pretty cool. And then, he, of course, he has his baton, which is in two pieces, and it doesn't look like they connect, so it is just two um, white pieces there. But pretty cool, white for the eyes. I like the little horns. Looks pretty good. So, on to the next one. And the next one seems to be getting the most buzz on Instagram. Here is the X Men, the Uncanny X Men, Iceman, Bobby. So, this one, I was very excited to get this one also because it's new. You know, half the wave is just reissues from the Pulse exclusives. Um, but here we have Iceman. When when the Target Lady, when she brought them out, she straight up dropped this one and Iron Man, and I'm all bummed. So I got a bent corner, because again, I'm keeping these men on card. It's not something I'm going to be opening. And then I got a big ass slash, like box cutter slash in mind. So I am going to be on the lookout for another Iceman. But looking at Iceman, his bio reads, Manipulator of Cold with the ability to freeze, Iceman chills the heat of battle with the greatest of ease. Nice. So Iceman. So kind of like Human Torch, we have Iceman. He is done in a blue translucent plastic. The whole thing, head, legs, arms, all of it looks really cool. You can see the inner workings of the plastic, how the torso pieces together though. But that looks pretty cool. I actually really like that. But no effect pieces or anything. So he's just translucent plastic. We don't even get the ice slide, which would have been a nice little touch. So Iceman, looking pretty cool. And then again, this seems to be the one people are most buzzed about, um, whereas I think Daredevil and Electro look really awesome, but Iceman, here we go, moving on. Okay, so kicking off with the reissues from the Pulse exclusives, the first one we have up here is Black Panther. Now the cards and artwork are different on these, and again, I will show a comparison um, here pretty soon, but Black Panther looks pretty good. There, let's look at the back. His bio reads, The king of Wakanda, to no one must he answer, stalking villains through the streets, T'Challa is Black Panther. That's pretty cool. I kind of like that one, actually. So looking at the figure, he's done in kind of this darkish, grayish charcoal color. Um, and then you got the blue for the boots and the gloves. And, you know, looking at the artwork, they didn't quite do the, the gloves the same as the figure. So it's kind of a bright blue with the black lines there. Um, and that is, you know, pretty comic accurate. But not a whole lot going on for the figure there. But it does look pretty good. So let's see that we'll see the comparison because this is actually now technically the third Black Panther figure to release. So we'll look at those comparisons here soon. Okay, next up, Iron Man. This is another one that the uh, the lady actually dropped. So I got a bent corner on this one, and actually, Iron Man is a double in the pack. So I'm, I'm sure it'll be no problem for me to get um, a new one to replace this one because I'm just kind of tricky like that. I got it. If it's going to be mint on card, I got to keep it mint on card. That bent corner is going to drive me nuts. But again, this is a third issue of. Iron Man as well, because the Pulse exclusive first edition and as well as the um, the, the metallic foil version. Um, so this is the third Iron Man. The card artwork is different on this one and looks pretty good. Looking at the back, the bio reads, a genius mind and suit of armor makes Tony Stark a real charmer, stopping villains where they land as the invincible Iron Man. Damn, they dropped a few different rhymes in that one, so that's pretty cool. Um, let's zoom in on Iron Man there, and that looks pretty good. Looking at the little eyeslits, it's just a white color. You don't actually see details of his eyes, but looks pretty good. Nice bright red and yellow scheme, giving it the real classic look. And they went with the yellow and not a actual gold color, which, you know, on comic pages, it's, it's yellow, but it's supposed to actually be gold, but it really gives it a real classic look, so... That is nice there. Okay, and finishing up Wave 2, we have Electro. Again, this is a reissue because the Pulse exclusive first edition, there was an Electro release in there. The artwork is different. I think I like this one more, but we'll see that comparison here pretty soon. Looking at the back, Electro's bio reads, Maxwell Dillon, the charged up villain, menaced with electricity, has an evil plan for Spider-Man, and it won't be pretty. 
eh, Maxwell Dillon, the charged up villain, that I like, um, but getting into the rest of it, not so much. Electro is cool. The head sculpt is the highlight because you get those um, electricity bolt effects on there and that just looks really good. The yellow over the green is slight sloppy in some parts. You can see the green really fading through um, kind of even over here in the around the waist, but it's not terrible looking at the legs. They those look okay also. Um, it's just, you know, the yellows don't quite match when you look at like the, the legs and the arms and that's because of the yellow paint over the green just doesn't look as good, but not bad, but not as good. So now let's go check out the Pulse exclusives. So if you ordered the full set from Hasbro Pulse, you would have gotten the whole full case and everything on there. So that's how it looks. Okay, so here we have the Hasbro Pulse exclusive first editions. So again, Electro, Spider-Man, they are the exact same. Spider-Man is, uh, is in wave one, Electro is in wave two. Again, the cards are, are different. The big um, noticeable difference is that foil sticker that actually has the number one on there that says first edition, so, or number one edition. Now, both of them come in this nice cool little box here, as you can see, it says Hasbro Pulse up at the top, but that nice artwork of the two of them, they're side by side in the back shows the two you know different cards and everything on there so looking at these guys and let's compare to the wave um the wave wide releases so here is spider-man in wave one you can see the artwork and color scheme and everything of the two cards are different looking at the back i don't know if the bios are actually the same they are different. So the Hasbro Pulse first edition says Spider-Man has a spider plan. Villains better run. With a thwip, he'll stick those evil doers in the web he's spun. So they still did this the whole rhyming thing. I never noticed it before, but it is kind of nice. There's no UPC, so we actually get a spider logo there. So that is Spider-Man, the first edition, the Wave 1, and the Hasbro Pulse exclusive first edition there. And you can see that foil sticker. So looking at Electro, we have the card work there from the first edition Hasbro Pulse exclusive and the Wave 2 version. You guys let me know which one you think looks better. I actually think the wide release uh, Wave 2 Electro artwork looks better. Looking at the back. Oh, and I think the bios are actually the same. Maxwell Dillon, the charged up villain, menace with electricity, has an evil plan for Spider-Man, and it won't be pretty. So Electro gets the same exact bio, so it's kind of interesting that Spider-Man did not. And again, no UPC, so we get that Electro um, design artwork there. So that is the first edition Electro Spider and Spy Electro and Spider-Man. Okay, so next up is the Hasbro Pulse first edition Iron Man and Cyclops. This is the two pack. Here is the artwork from that two pack there, looking really good. Looking at the back again, we just get those two cards there. So looking at this, we did not get a Cyclops in either waves one or two. So Cyclops will likely be in wave three or four, probably three. So no, um, no, nothing to compare him to yet. Looking at the back of the card, it says Marvel's Cyclops. Cyclops fires optic blasts through the through Ruby Quartz as leader of the X Men mutant fighting force. Eh. Eh, a little bit of a stretch. So we'll zoom here and look at Cyclops. He looks pretty good. Like the design of him there. Looking at it, that is pretty cool. No effect piece for Cyclops. But looking at the comparison with Iron Man, there is the first edition. And here is the Wave 2 Iron Man. You can see color scheme and artwork is different between the two. The figures are the exact same. <clears throat> looking at the bios, and it looks like... They are the same, same exact bio. So Spider-Man is the only one so far to have the same, have a different bio. So there is Spider-Man. Let's move on to the next set. Okay, and here is our Hasbro Pulse exclusive um, first editions: Black Panther and Captain America. So again, looking at the artwork, we'll start with Captain America. And you can see the artwork is different there. I think I like this one. This one has a little bit more of a retro look to it. I think maybe because of the yellow, um, just those bright colors, how they stand out. And then the Captain America logos, as you can see, we get yellow font here. We have red, white, and blue. So let's take a look at the back and see if the bios are the same. And they are different. So we have finally another one with different bios. So the first um, edition says, Captain America, the shield for freedom and liberty. Captain America is the star-spangled Avenger with super soldier abilities. 
The original bio read, Captain America is a heroic force for all time, fighting to keep freedom and liberty safe from evil crime. We get a nice Captain America logo there because no UPC. So there we have the two Captain Americas. Again, the figures are the exact same. Before I forget, here is the box for the Black Panther and Captain America 2-pack, exclusive to Pulse. Looks pretty good. And now looking at Black Panther, the two different artwork. Uh, again, I think the first edition artwork actually looks better. We get a little bit more detail, a couple of different color variations for Wakanda there in the back. You guys let me know which one you like more. We'll take a look at the bios and see if they changed it up or if they have the same ones. And they use the same exact bio for the two. Black Panther there instead of the UPC. So first edition versus wave two. You guys let me know in the comments below which artwork you like more. And I completely almost forgot, but if you ordered the, the all three or that special one for $79.99 on Hasbro Pulse, you get these new foil ones, which are basically like the carbonized um, graphite um, Star Wars Black Series figures, and they did some in the vintage collection. So here we get the foil card, and I know based on lighting and stuff, it's kind of tricky to kind of change up the way it looks. So I'm going to try and brighten it here. So there we go. So that's how you can kind of see the cards. The figures themselves, they actually have a metallic sheen to them, so they didn't just change the cards. They did change the actual figures themselves. And then the cards themselves are actually thicker. So the bubble on these other ones are just kind of glued onto the card, but these ones are kind of like the um, the, the retro six inch figures, how it's actually in the middle. So it's like a double carded, card there's like the centerpiece so the, the bubble isn't just glued on there it's actually inside that card so it's not something that's eventually going to fall off over time or anything like that so we have um, a few different comparisons here to do so we got the um, like iron, let's go with Iron Man so we have this first edition which is the special one then we have the other regular version first edition and then we got the wave 2 Iron Man so these two figures are the same, um, but that one is different. But you notice the the number one, the first, both first editions use the same artwork. I'm sure the bios are probably going to be the same as well. And sure enough, they are. So there we have it, brand new line, and we already got three damn Iron Man figures. But these ones are really cool. So now let's go on to Black Panther. And the same story with him, we have three versions of Black Panther. So we have the two first editions, as well as the Wave 2 release. So these two, again, these first editions have the same artwork. Um, and then one big thing that they changed, not only just kind of giving a metallic sheen on the Black Panther, but they took the blue and actually went with the gray color to really change it up. So that is pretty cool. And again, Black Panther bio was the same is the same for all three figures there. So there is all of the Marvel Legends retro three and three quarter inch figures. So that's a lot. Three Black Panthers already in the way in the line just started. Oh, and before I forget, the box artwork is different. So instead of the blue, we get a, this black color. There's no metallic sheen or anything to this outer box. It's just the blue has been replaced with this black color. So that's cool. All right, so I already have 20 of these Marvel Legends retro three and three quarter inch figures. They're not super special, but I think they're fun, nice little throwbacks. Um, I really like the retro cards. I'm a sucker for them. Like Star Wars Black Series, the only Black Series figures that I truly collect are the, the, the these retro carded six inch figures. Um, so three and three quarter inch is not my thing, but brand new line when it starts, it's easy to jump in and kind of still become the completest instead of having to go back and try and find others. So it's nice to get in on the ground floor and be able to get all of them. The artwork I think is something special and really cool. I like the idea of keeping these unpunched as well because they never made it out onto the pegs. Um, I don't know if I'll always be able to get that done. Um, I'm sure if you order online though it probably would not be an issue. Again these will be available everywhere. Target just got the early exclusive. It's wild that wave two has already started to hit and they haven't even been announced and wave one was only announced i don't know weeks ago so it's pretty crazy out of all the 20 that you guys saw in this video you guys let me know down in the comments below which is your favorite um of the figures and or artwork are you surprised by wave two showing up have you been lucky enough to find them in your local target already and was it wave one or was it wave two or was it both? We have not seen yet if stores have been getting both at the same time. So we shall see. 
but it's pretty crazy, all things considered, to stumble into a Target on a Sunday and find brand new unannounced figures. It's hap It happens not too often, so I thought it was pretty crazy and wild, but you guys let me know down in the comments below. If you guys like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already done so, and as always, thank you for watching.